And she's the Italian girl, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, back in the 80s, um, I had just come back from a trip to Jamaica, and I was thinking reggae in my brain. Um, and uh, came back, and I came up with this little idea for a song based on this gal that I met in a club. I was going to say a bar, but then you'll think I'm a drunk. Um, and uh, she was incredibly beautiful, and she also had the filthiest mouth on any human being I'd ever heard. So her great beauty was in contrast to this incredibly disgusting vocabulary. And that got me excited. I kind of liked that. Um, and I saw, hmm, there's a song there somewhere. So as I was walking home, alone, I may add, uh, I thought, man, she would just chew you up and spit you out. So I, hmm, hmm. So I wrote this little reggae thing about a man-eater. And I never could quite come up with a verse, but I had a cool chorus. And I got together with Daryl and uh, played it for him. And he said, man, that is really cool. He goes, but I think it would be hipper if we just did a Motown groove, which is the groove that you hear on the record. So I'm really glad I listened to Daryl because he was right. But tonight, <laughs> you Philadelphians are going to get to hear something that maybe could have sounded like the original song if I would have finished it. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs>
Is it on YouTube yet? Yes. Oh, it already is, right? Okay. That's good, because that's a pretty damn good version. I think that version supersedes any other versions that are floating around out there in the virtual world. Well, well, well. Let's keep rocking. Yeah!